As a child, he didn't know what he wanted to be, but he knew he had to help others. Every day he saw homelessness on the street, children hungry, mothers struggling to support their family. It struck a chord in him. He always made sure to give sandwiches, money or randomly pay for a stranger shopping. Every Sunday he volunteered at his local soup kitchen for a few hours. Unfortunately, he was familiar with the struggles of life. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. His earliest memory was in a birthday party or a trip to the beach or a warm summer evening. His earliest memory was one of his father's episodes. He would wake to glass breaking, door slamming and screams. He wet the bed until he was 14 years old. Then one day, he was woken up in the middle of the night. He was dressed and outside their house of horrors before he was fully away. His mother placed his bag on his back and took his hand. It was still dark and they both were terrified, but she knew her 8-year-old son deserved better. The essentials were packed into a single luggage bag, which she had dragged to the bus stop. They got a one-way ticket to Madison, Alabama. His father said he would never amount to much, but over the years, he proved him wrong. He joined the police academy the moment he finished school, and he managed to hold down a job to support his mother. They lived in a tiny two-bedroom flat. They scrubbed mildew from the walls once a month. They were poor, but they were safe. And when he finally became a rookie, he made sure to take care of her. He bought a small bungalow on the outskirts of the city. It was the least he could do. He refused to let any woman or child go through similar struggles, but he couldn't save everyone. Rachel was 20 years old when she met Ryan. He was a few years older, but she was drawn to him like a magnet. He quickly became her whole world. She cancelled her plans with friends and family to just spend more time with him. She couldn't get enough of his company, but things moved quicker than either of them ever expected. After the first year, they were married. However, things quickly changed. Rachel gave birth to their first child a few months after becoming newly wed. Ryan was under more pressure than ever to provide for them. He took every available shift at work and she was lucky to see him for one hour a day and they fought for the majority of that hour. He was successful in his career but the stress was taking a toll on his relationship with Rachel but she always went along with his choices because she could never say no to him. Rachel always believed her husband had good intentions. That is why when he suggested that she leave work to stay home with their two kids, she agreed. And even when he missed their plans to stay at the office, she forgave him. He worked hard to provide for them. He promised to buy her dream home and eventually he did. But what use was a home for a family that was never together? And when the time came for them to keep a promise, he did the unthinkable. Rachel managed to redecorate their entire new home during her third pregnancy. Her back ached and her ankle swelled, but she painted every wall of the house herself. She wanted her children to have fond memories of their childhood. After 36 hours of labor, she brought her baby boy home to meet the family. The first four months flew. Ryan was always home for breakfast and dinner, and he made sure to help more with the kids. Then he did something that made her question her choices. When Madison County Sheriff saw Rachel on her lawn, he took a double take. He pulled over and ran to her side as she struggled with her baby strapped to her chest. She was weak and tired. Everything okay, ma'am? He asked kindly as he helped her up from the grass. Yes, officer, I just need to sit down for a while. It's not easy working in this heat. The child began to cry. The officer couldn't stand by and watch her suffer. He took his hat off and reached for the handle for the lawnmower. Y'all, I thought I was about to get in trouble or something. Rachel later shared. But this officer just wanted to lend a hand to a mother in need of some help. Ryan had returned to work a few weeks prior and Rachel was struggling to manage three kids while running a house alone. The pressure was taking its toll. He has been working hard on a work project and hasn't had the time to cut in, Rachel told. It was a nice day out and so I thought I'd help my husband out and cut it myself. I enjoy cutting the grass. But Rachel underestimates the difficulty of doing tasks while her body was still healing and little baby Michael wasn't in the best of the form that day. Rachel explained that when the officer passed, the sweet man stopped and insisted on mowing the lawn for her. At the time, Rachel was worried. She was alone with the kids and a police officer had never approached her before. 
as if she wasn't stressed enough that day. Seeing a squad car pull outside her home made her panic. But now she is delighted with her surprise visitor. Ryan later found out about Rachel's helper for the day. It's small in nature but was a huge help to my wife today. The incident has opened Ryan's eyes, reminding him of the importance of family. Since the incident, he's made sure to leave work at work and spend extra time with his family. But why did the officer just keep driving? Although he joined the force to protect and serve, this officer also makes it his mission to be kind and helpful. And after completing the job, Rachel thanked him with a well-deserved tall glass of lemonade. And understandably, her experience has gained plenty of online attention. It's not often you meet a stranger willing to help. Someone definitely deserves a special award for kindness.